Hello YouTube students, my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at the angles formed by parallel lines in a transversal. So we have parallel lines L and M being cut by the transversal line N. And I want to take a look at the two most important Euclidean postulates, which in some sense help develop all of Euclidean geometry. We have corresponding angles are congruent. And what this means is, if I define these four angles to be A, B, C, and D, Corresponding angles are congruent. This postulate allows me to name these four angles based on the value of these four angles. And remember, this only works when line L and line M are parallel. So angle A would correspond to this angle here because both of these angles are located in the top left corner. So this angle here has to equal A because they're in corresponding places. Now this angle here located in the bottom left corner of these four angles would correspond to angle B because angle B is located in the bottom left corner. So we can name this angle B. And now where does angle C correspond to? It corresponds to the bottom right corner. So we could call this angle C as well. And finally angle D corresponds to the top right corner so we can name this angle D. So now this gets us started and we have four angles. But now the second postulate I want to look at, the measure of a straight angle is 180 degrees, allows us to refine the number of angles we have. We have four angles right now and we could refine this to two angles. And how will this work? Well, if we use this postulate, anytime we have a straight angle, the sum of the angles is 180 degrees. So right now we have along this straight line, we have angle A and angle B. So using the second postulate, we have A plus B equals 180 degrees because angle A and angle B form a straight line. And now what else could we say? Well we have angle B plus angle C they also form a straight line so B plus C equals 180 degrees as well. So now using transitivity we have two expressions that sum to 180 degrees so those two expressions must be equal. So we have A plus B equals B plus C. So now we could subtract B from both sides and we have that B will cancel out on the left side and B will cancel out on the right side leaving us with A equals C. So the measure of angle A equals the measure of angle C allows us to rename this angle here we can name this angle A. We could also do the same up here we could rename angle C to angle A. And now I want to use a similar strategy to rename angle D. We have on this straight line, we have angle A and angle D form a straight line, so we have A plus D equals 180 degrees. And from before, we have angle A and angle B also form a straight line, so A plus B is 180 degrees as well. So now, once again, using transitivity, we could set these two expressions equal. So we have A plus D equals A plus B. And now we can subtract A from both sides. And this leaves us with angle D is equal to angle B. So we could rename angle D. We could rename this to be angle B. We could do it on the top section as well. So now that we have this diagram is simplified to two angles, for the next video we could look at what, we, what can we say about these angles now? Well, we could say things about alternate interior angles. This will also help springboard to prove the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. So these two postulates are really powerful for proving numerous theorems that appear in Euclidean geometry. But for now, this is going to conclude this video on parallel lines and transversals. Thank you all for watching, and I hope that it was helpful.